In this video we're going to take a look at putting a Google document into the Blackboard system or as it's often referred to in Warwick College the Learning Channel. So we've got our document here it's one that uh, worked on previously and to be able to get this into your Learning Channel go to the File menu and select Publish to the Web. Now this is the same procedure if it's a document, a spreadsheet or a presentation. Once you're in this menu, uh, go to click on Start Publishing. It'll ask you to confirm that. And then you will get two links. Now the first one uh, will enable us to link directly to the document. So I'm going to right click on that, select Copy, and then I'm going to go to my Learning Channel. And you go to the area that you'd like to insert uh, the document, and you go to Build Content, and then choose web link. Okay. Paste in the code that we've just taken in the URL section. So right click on that, select paste, and then we have to give it a name as well. And I'll call this Carl's Cafe Menu. And then click Submit. And you'll notice now that I've got a link directly to the Carl's Cafe menu. If you click that, it will then open up and the document is there. It's very easy to insert. There is another way of doing it, which will enable you to get the document straight onto the page. If we go back to Carl's Cafe menu, Carl's Cafe menu in Google Docs, there's some code underneath where we copied before called embed code and you'll often see embed code featured on lots of different websites and it enables us to take somebody a part of somebody else's web page and put it into our own so this code here I'm just going to click on so it's selected right click and select copy and this time I'm going to go back to my learning channel but instead of selecting web link I'm going to choose a item and this time we'll say Carl's Cafe Menu 2 and down in the text box here you need to click on the HTML button if for any reason the HTML button is not shown click on this little icon on the right hand side the double chevron and then it'll appear so click on HTML and then we paste in the code into this box, click on update, and it'll show where it's going to appear just there in the yellow. Go down the bottom, click submit, and then the menu appears down here. Now, it looks a bit small at the moment, so what we're going to do is go back and make it larger. If you click on the down arrow and select edit, it takes us back to where we inserted all that code. If you click on HTML again, you'll notice that the this thing called the iframe has got a width and a height. I'm going to adjust the width to be 700 and change the height to 600. It's going to make it approximately double the size. Click on update. Now you can see that the yellow box is a lot larger. Click on submit and there you go. The cafe menu is directly into your learning channel page and so your learners don't have to go off anywhere else to, to view it. And the beauty of using this method is that should you update any contents directly in your Google document or your spreadsheet or your presentation, if we were to change the colour of this, several minutes later it will automatically be changed in the learning channel. You only have, a, have to update the one document, you don't have to go back to your learning channel again. 